expression of my teeth and look quite a chalky aftertaste too. Yum. Breath smells chalky good. So now that we've got a teeth impression or a tooth impression or teeth impression rather, we can go give that to Salvador and hopefully he'll be all cool with that. Got something here that might interest you. So that wasn't so hard, Manny. He was so against not helping these guys and that was nothing. I'm a seasoned adventurer. I'm not sure what to make of that. Dude, hello. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Oh, okay. Well, she's called an intelligence officer for a reason, I suppose. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. All right, so now we didn't talk to Salvador a lot, but that's not the only thing we need. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Whew, sorry, I had to take a drink of water there. I'm parched from the chalky aftertaste. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Go get the birds, no, Manny. The you need, soldier. Viva la revolucion! All right, I got it. I'm on top of it. Pretty good with birds. I know how to handle that. Back to the roof. Manny's a really good climber. How do you climb without using your feet, even? I guess if you're all bone and you don't have any body fat or muscles, I guess it'd be pretty easy. So now we've got to do- This is even more impressive. Watch this. Look at that! Who can do that? Nobody. Certainly, certainly not me. Here we are, up on the roof. And as you can see, there are a lot of pigeons here. Just minding their own business. So I feel kind of bad that we're about to snatch up their eggs. But you know what? They're kind of mean, so... I'll just attack you if you get too close to them. Watch it. So I think, let's see. This is where our Robert Frost balloon will come in handy. Bread. 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 God damn it. There we go. We can just try to like give it to them. Run, get him off me. Oh, he almost said it. I almost got him to say the Robert Frost thing. Run, you pigeons. It's Robert Frost. <laughs> what if I do it with another balloon, like the dingo? They might not know how much scarier a dingo is than a regular dog. That's true. Maybe a cat. Yeah, a cat will do it. Damn if I had only kept those dead worms. <laughs> so much bread. Uh, here's my cat. Hmm. They don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Well, I'm not gonna give up my Robert Frost, but this cat is pretty... pretty wonky looking, so let's just give that up. So we're gonna put it in here. Maybe that will scare them, eventually. And bread. Look at that, he's really good at that. Just crumbling up the bread to complete disintegration. There we go. Run you pigeons, it's a balloon.
So, loud noises, pigeons. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. I don't know, I just didn't want to sacrifice my Robert Frost pigeon. It means it means too much to me now. It's been through a lot. We've been we've all been through this this game together with Robert Frost, and I'm just not ready to give him up yet. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. <laughs> Alright. I think that's all we need. I can find oh okay oh cool it didn't save me some time by plopping me back here oh that's so scary heights man it's not cool agent calavera and two guests there we go didn't even have to pull it out of my inventory which is nice. All right, I think we're good. Let's give him these little pigeon eggs. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. Excellent. Get it? Excellent. <laughs> Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. At ease. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. Uh, oh. You must go to the oh. town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Besides, we've known her for, what, uh, like 60 seconds? I guess it could be love at first sight. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Alrighty then. I never really took the time to look around here, so I wonder... I don't think we can actually... do much here. After all I did to get out of town? I certainly can't I go back. I going back to that place again. At least not without Mechie. Oh no! Hey, hey, buddy. God is my friend. You're looking good. Why are you crying, Batty? Oh, Batty! They fired me. Oh. Oh no. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. Oh, he's having a tantrum. I oh God! Just to do that job, it's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest uh. and pulled out my heart oh. and threw it into the woods. Too. Gladys. Gladys. Oh dear. Oh, Gladys. Ooh. Bat spider things. Gladys? Gladys? Okay then, so if you pull out your heart, you just fall asleep. You don't actually die, you just go into, you know, a really deep, deep sleep. Wake up, buddy. Do I still have Robert Frost? Oh my god. They took my Robert Frost. This ought to wake him up. That's not on fire. Uh huh. So I guess we should probably go get that back. Good to know that demon mechanics cry like a baby when something oh, bad happens. No. Ooh, ick. Shoot. 
That was the second time they used ooh, eek. Let's see here. This isn't too uh, hard. Let's take some of them bones over there. I guess I could always use a spare. Never know when you need a spare bone. If you lose your leg. Soup's on. Huh. They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. It's because they have a whole stack of bones, Manny. <laughs> can I put that in my inventory? Oh. I wonder how many I can take. This is making up for the Robert Frost and the bread. Oh, they took my bread, too! Man! I can just keep taking them. I don't need any more. I'm practically made of them. Okay. Let's use our blade. Not on the heart. That would be bad. But on the bone. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon heart to eat. There we go. Let's just put that right back in. It's still beating. It's like nothing ever happened. Here you go, buddy. Good as new. Heart. Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong, beating, good heart. Hey, is that my car? All right, back to normal. Mr. Lamans, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. That guy is huge. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. The music is telling me that something bad now. is going to happen. Hector, no! There it goes. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? Here. The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Bring him up here. Up for a ride? I thought you'd never ask. Now, the forest is probably my least favorite part of this game. I want to try to get it done as quickly as I can. It's a little tedious, and there's some backtracking involved, but at least there's some awesome rock rockabilly music playing here. And you kind of get to drive around, so that's kind of cool. We are hot in a hearse right now. Oh, okay. Alright, not that way. My bad. Let's go this way. Oh my goodness, this part. Oh, okay. Um, I vaguely remember this. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. <laughs> Where did you find that? All right. Let's see here. Uh, what does this do? Let's let's uh, pull some triggers. When you don't know what to do with something, just mess with it. It'll probably be fine. Oh, okay. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balance it turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but <laughs> oh, 
the ears. They get me every time. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. Oh my god. Oh, it's cute. Hey! He's just a little fiery. He's got a fiery personality. <laughs> so, we've actually got to go back through there. Here's another weird puzzle for it. You know, they're just minding their own business. They're living the life, swimming in some tar. I suck at this part, so forgive me if I screw up. 